Hey there, Fit Fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you've ever walked into the gym, loaded up that bench press, and wondered why your bench press sucks, well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're on a mission to transform your bench press from a feeble flop to a chest-thumping powerhouse. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a workout tip from yours truly. Let's get started. So, let's address the elephant in the room. Your bench press sucks, but don't worry, you're not alone. Most of us have been there, and it's time to figure out why. Let's break it down. Warm-up neglect. Jumping into heavy benching without a proper warm-up is like asking for trouble. Picture this, you walk into the gym, the bar loaded with plates, and you dive right into benching without a second thought. Your muscles are like a cold engine trying to rev up from 0 to 60 in an instant. It's a recipe for disaster. Your form. Imagine yourself squirming around on the bench, your feet are dancing in the air, and your back is arching like a contortionist. Not only does this look like a scene from a slapstick comedy, but it's also the reason your bench press sucks. Proper bench press form is the foundation of a strong and safe lift. Consistency, where art thou? Bench press once in a blue moon. You can't expect gains if you're treating the bench press like a seasonal hobby. Imagine if you only brushed your teeth once a month, you'd have dental problems, right? Well, treating your bench press like a seasonal hobby is no different. If you bench press sporadically, your body won't adapt, and those gains will remain elusive. You need to be consistent in both frequency and effort. Set a routine, stick to it, and watch those numbers climb. No leg drive. Let's talk about leg drive, or should I say, the lack thereof. If your legs are on vacation during your bench press, you're leaving gains on the table, and that's a sin in the fitness world. Your legs are not just there for decoration, they're a crucial part of the bench press equation. Neglecting leg drive is like trying to paddle a boat with one oar, it's ineffective and exhausting. Noodle arms. Weak triceps are like kryptonite for your bench press. When your arms feel like overcooked spaghetti, you won't be pressing much. The triceps are a primary mover in the bench press, responsible for extending your elbow and pushing that bar up. Last but not least, the chicken wing syndrome. If your elbows are flaring out like you're trying to impersonate a chicken, it's a surefire recipe for disaster. Flared elbows not only put excessive stress on your shoulder joints but also weaken your pressing power. Now that we've identified the culprits, it's time to lay down the law and fix that weak bench press once and for all. Here's how. Number 1. Warm up. A good warm-up might include light cardio, dynamic stretches, and specific warm-up sets for the bench press. Number 2. Master the setup. I can't stress this enough. Get your setup right. Your bench press setup should be so on point that NASA would be impressed. Your back should be firmly planted on the bench with a natural arch, shoulder blades pinched together, and feet flat on the ground. Your grip width should be in the Goldilocks zone, neither too wide nor too narrow. And remember, the bar should follow a controlled vertical path, not a roller coaster ride. Number 3. Leg Drive Magic Activate those legs. By driving through your heels and engaging your legs, you create a stable base and transfer power from the ground up. Number 4. Tricep Terror Give those triceps the attention they deserve. To fix those noodle arms, incorporate tricep-specific exercises into your routine. Skull crushers, tricep dips, and close grip bench presses will become your go-to moves to beef up those triceps and power up your bench press. Number 5. Banish the chicken wing You want to keep those elbows tucked at around a 45-degree angle from your torso. This not only protects your shoulders but also ensures you're using your chest and triceps effectively. Number 6. Full range of motion don't be that guy or gal who only half reps. Half reps won't cut it if you want a chest like a Greek god. Embrace the full range of motion to maximize muscle activation and gains. Number 7. Mind-Muscle Connection Picture your chest muscles working. Visualizing the action can help you squeeze out those extra reps. Before we wrap up, let's bust a couple of bench press myths because, well, knowledge is power. High reps for definition. You don't need to rep out like a maniac for definition. A combination of strength training and a proper diet will sculpt your chest to perfection. Arch your back like crazy. While a slight arch can be beneficial for stability, you don't need to contort your spine like a circus performer. Keep it natural, folks. No pain, no gain. Ignore that saying when it comes to your shoulders. If it hurts, stop. Pain is not the path to gains. There you have it. Your bench press doesn't have to suck anymore. With the right knowledge and consistent effort, you can build a powerful chest that'll turn heads at the gym. So hit that like button if you found this video helpful and share it with your lifting buddies. 
And if you've got any tips or bench press stories, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep lifting, keep grinding, and stay swole. Peace out.